Okay, I'm here with Brian Yee, and we're at the Maker Fair 2012, what they call, you know, not your grandpa's amateur radio. So, tell me, what were you and Wayne working on before, and then what are all these different items we have at the booth? Thank you, Mike. I'm Brian, W6BY. At Maker Fair 2012, we've got this uh, demonstration booth here to show that ham radio is more than just uh, what most people think about ham radio, HF. We're doing a lot of, trying to show that ham radio is a lot of different things. We're doing some microwave here. We're showing some demonstrations of, demonstrations of microcontrollers. And uh, what Wayne and I were doing here is just a little uh, short conversation across the aisle here with two, tw two homemade 10 gigahertz transverters. Wayne's got his rig over there, which is about uh, a few watts. And I used to actually transmit it over a thousand miles with that. And I've got my little sort of demonstration station here, which is attached on a space ball. Now, the space ball is to just a short demo on some microcontroller things. Uh, space ball is something I dug out of my garage and uh, did some Arduino programming to just show some simple antenna control. This is actually a working 10 gig transverter. I've uh, got my 2 meter IF right here, the transverter, and it's a real working link. So, along that line, but much higher in frequency, we have Tony set up here. Tony AC62HB built a sort of a tri band rig right. that covers much. 24 gigahertz, 47 gigahertz, and uh, 79.8 gigahertz. He's actually got a working demo across the booth here to another working uh, 78 gigahertz uh, station, and uh, we've been demoing that throughout the show. We've also got an APRS demo, a little slideshow showing uh, various people's microwave adventures, and uh, over here we have just a little quick demo thing for kids so they can kind of talk and see their voice. Kids really get a thrill out of that. We have a some uh, kids from Hamstack, uh, a couple of different things. We have a keyboard controller, which uh, you press this thing and it transmits Morse code. We also have a, a Wi-Fi uh, demo, which I can control by a Wi-Fi app on my iPhone over this, and I can actually, uh, it's called a station controller. I can control relays, I can read analog inputs. It's got an LCD display. A little bit further down the line here, we also have a working laser communications display. Uh, transmits voice over a laser link, and that's fine too. Uh, Dennis over here is actually talking to uh, Tony over the 78, 79 gigahertz link. And uh, that's pretty much it for the booth here. So we're trying to get uh, a lot of uh, kids excited about ham radio, showing them that it's just not, not the old simple stuff. Uh, we've had a lot of attention from just people stopping by. They love the space ball. Kids love the space ball. They like to get their hands on the uh, oscilloscope demo. And everybody's having a great fun. See you next year at Maker Fair. Okay, I got some more questions for you. So, you've been at this booth the whole time. Have you had an opportunity to take a look at the rest of the Maker Fair? Oh, yeah. This place, if you think of, you can think of Maker Fair as a giant playground. They have all kinds of exhibits around here, uh, not just for kids, but for adults. I've got uh, little workshops for people to make things out of clay, uh, little microcontroller workshops. There's some really interesting demos of some 3D printers. There's a guy up there flying a little helicopter. Uh, somebody made a pick and place machine. Uh, in some of the other buildings, they have laser displays, light shows, and other things. Uh, there's actually some other things about homegrown, you know, beekeeping and gardening, and just about everything you can think of that people can make is here at Maker Fair. Okay, another question: Why microwave? Why get into that instead of like HF or with like everybody else, or like VHF, UHF, like everybody else does? Right. Well. One of the things about microwave is that 
kind of in line with this do-it-yourself kind of thing here is that most of the things we build for microwave don't exist on the store shelves. So you kind of have to put it together yourself. You have to do all the system design, antenna design, and everything else. And the other thing is uh, a lot of our operation is kind of mobile. That is, you don't do it at home. You kind of get, have to get up on a mountaintop or on the field to go do it. Okay, then actually, well, let's say, somebody was saying, like, on some of these microwave systems, like, we look inside, let's say, this box right here, and there's a lot, there's all kinds of stuff, and then particularly, someone said, you think of, like, all these coaxes and waveguides as plumbing rather than wires. Any other way to describe microwave as, so let's say, circuit design in lower frequencies? At lower frequencies, most everything is over a conductor. The nice thing about Waveguide is that once you launch it, launch it into the proper size tubing, it actually kind of like works like it's traveling through air. So you can actually make a microwave circuit out of regular copper plumbing, uh, almost anything that's kind of uh, rectangular or round in shape at, at just the right uh, sort of wavelength. And it just like magic propagates down the thing with almost no loss. So sort of circuit-wise different. Uh, it actually, in some ways, it, microwave is harder because it is higher in frequency. But in many other ways, it's easier because uh, the circuit elements are smaller and you can make them out of pretty much um, uh, hardware store parts. Okay, so other than that, so let's say on some of the projects that you, Tony, and Wayne, and and uh, others have worked on, do you guys have a web page specific or what particular amateur radio group here that you work with? Well, there are a couple of us uh, groups on the West Coast. The one up here in the Bay Area is called the 50 Megahertz and Up Club. You can go to their website at www.50megahertzandup, all one word, .org, 50megahertzandup.org. The group here from Southern California is from the Southern San Bernardino uh, Microwave Society, or SBMS. So you can go to uh, www, uh, let's see, dot .hamradio .sbms.org. Okay, here with uh, Brian Yee at Baker Fair 2012. All right, thank you. And okay. 73. See you next year, guys.